uh, electoral law has had a once-in-a-generation review with the list released this week by an expert panel of sweeping recommendations. But will the changes ever enjoy the light of day? Deputy Chair Maria Bajj, Professor of Politics and Māori Studies at Victoria University, joins me now in the studio. Good morning. So, you know, some say that the first sort of rule of politics is, is it going to happen? And looking at the reaction from our political parties this week, you would, you would have to say probably not when it comes to a lot of the recommendations that, you're, that, that the review is making? Well, I guess our focus was on conducting the review, hearing from New Zealanders, mm. and it was really an opportunity. We have had these piecemeal changes made over the years, um, but our task was to take that comprehensive bigger picture look, think, you know, where are things not working and hear from New Zealanders about what isn't working, what is working well. Um, so those are important discussions, you know, the fact that we are considering those aspects. Where can things be fairer and more accessible? So I think that's all very important. Absolutely. Well, one of the only area that I could sort of hear any political consensus on or sort of um, you know, party support for was this four-year term. So what were you hearing um, about that from people during the review? Yeah, well, in terms of the term, people were pretty, again, split. We didn't hear a lot of consensus about a lot of these things. Um, you know, in terms of the arguments for, some people suggested that if we have a longer term, governments are able to better uh, implement their policies, have better laws. Uh, others were saying, well, if it's, you know, too long, then we won't be able to hold uh, governments to account. So we thought the arguments came down pretty evenly, and we think that this is a matter, as it's entrenched, that needs to go uh, to the public. We thought if politicians were deciding on this, it would probably be a bit like extending their own uh, contracts mm. and really New Zealanders need to have a say on it. So what would the process for that be? Uh, it would have to go to a referendum and presumably uh, that, that would be a decision taken by Parliament this year or you, you know what would how long would that process take so our focus is on delivering our recommendations in our review at the end of november and then it'll be up to the government the incoming government at that time to make the next steps right so it is handed back to them another contentious area that you looked at was the party thresholds and the uh, group is recommending the party threshold be reduced to three and a half percent why is that so we, when we looked at it, we thought that 5% was higher than it needs to be. Uh, and we did some Why? modelling. Well, it means that a whole lot of smaller parties aren't able to get into Parliament. So we heard from people that they felt they were wasting their votes um, when they were voting for those parties. And MMP is about that diversity of representation. So we looked at three. We looked at a number of thresholds, obviously, but to us, 3.5 still struck that balance. That's around 100,000 votes, um, so still relatively high in some ways, um, but would still encourage smaller parties to come into Parliament, um, but would maintain that effect and stable government. It would reduce a representation by some of the smaller parties in government though, isn't it? Because you would remove the coattail uh, provision. And so those smaller parties would be less represented. Uh, not really, but you're right. This is where we're saying that two recommendations have to go together. So that one electorate seat rule, where if you win the electorate, you bring can bring some other folks in with you, um, we think has to go with this lowering of the threshold. Um, yeah, we, we did some modelling again of... Um, the last election, for example, that lower threshold wouldn't have changed the composition of parties in Parliament. But we still think in the future it will encourage more parties, smaller but it, parties. But it would have um, changed the representation of the Māori Party, for example, who had one electorate MP and then had another brought in because of the party vote. So that would have diminished their representation as a smaller party in Parliament. Yeah, well, what we heard from people, though, was that this this mechanism they felt was unfair, that some voters and some electorates essentially were getting more of a say about that composition of parliament than other voters and other electorates. So part of our focus was coming back to those principles about fairness, and so that was key. Yeah, it is tricky, isn't it, to be, you know, you're never going to be 100% fair, I think, I suppose, um, across something <laughs> like a democracy. Um, but you were looking at, did you ever look at reducing the total number of MPs? We looked at a whole range of options um, and heard, of course, in our su the submissions that came to us, a variety of proposals. We think where we've got to with our recommendations uh, really create the balance that we're looking for. And then we have the right number of MPs. We seem to have a lot. <laughs> 
Didn't hear much about that on the panel, um, on, in the uh, hearing though. Political donations are another contentious sort of area and you are recommending the, uh, quite, some quite strong recommendations in that area. Well, this is where we heard a lot of concern from people. People were really worried about the idea of undue influence in politics, that money is buying something. Um, is, that, is that well based? Is that true? Well, that's what we heard from New Zealanders. Um, so that's what you know that that concern was impacting on their trust and confidence in the in the system. So we are recommending that donations be capped at thirty thousand, and that only registered voters would be able to donate. And the political parties probably aren't going to be in favour of this one. Is that a problem when you're making recommendations that you know that they have to go back to Parliament in order to be implemented? Well, one of the things that we did was come back to our principles around, you know, is this going to be fair? Is it going to encourage more people to participate in our system? Is this about open, you know, accountable government, effective government? Um, and that's where we came back to as our principles. Well, Kiwis have until the 17th of July, I think, to make submissions on these recommendations. And you will be encouraging them to do so? Yes, we're really keen to, especially if people think that we've got things not quite right, or if we have got things right, we're keen to hear those views. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, thanks so much for your work and for joining us.